All right, guys. Wanted to do a quick video here as we continue printing and testing different variations of the kit. I keep referring to it as the kit. So that white one and this orange one will make the top and bottom for the next test. These are the scoop supports. And um, I keep making subtle changes to things to test different variations. I will go upstairs and I'll pause the video as I go upstairs and show you what I had done previously. Got a little over ambitious though and printed a whole bunch of the other version and I shouldn't have done that because all it took was putting one together to realize that version was not sufficient. So we're going to try this because yes I'm printing this and it would take forever to make kits this way but in mass production injection mold or something like that we could make them by the thousands for a really inexpensive price and uh, it's a little hard to see but there is a very small edge there a ledge that um, there you can see it on the outside it's just literally 1 40 thousandth um, to the right you see that little ledge I'm not sure I'm gonna like this one either I may have to go with um, a groove which means I bump the sidewall in a little bit and then the top piece captures the sidewall in between the grooves I'll show you upstairs because the old ones I had upstairs were printed that way all right, I'm gonna pause it here and uh, take you upstairs and show you what I've got going on. All right, so here we are upstairs and there was the first scoop, but you can see how the wall bows out. And I didn't like that. It was difficult to put it together. There's no way in heck, no way in hell. <laughs> that I would want you guys to struggle with doing that. I super glued it in and um, the top and bottom are fixed now, but I wasn't happy with it. There's no way I'd want to release a kit like that. So we at creating more are not doing that. All right, so like I said, I got overzealous and printed a whole bunch when I shouldn't have. I should have just settled for one, but here you can see that groove that I was talking about it allows me to have a track for the sidewall. So I wanted to print one version, that's what's printing downstairs, where the sidewall would come in like uh, a piece of angle iron or an L and just lock into the top, but really it won't lock in. It'll just rest against the top and then you'd have to glue it in place. I didn't think I would like it because it's, it's probably gonna be a little bit too um, imperfect or loosey-goosey, whatever you wanna say up top since it doesn't have a groove to lock into. So there's the orange ones with the groove. A little bit better contrast maybe. Um, so I believe what I'm gonna do is the next version I'm gonna bump that sidewall in by a, um, I don't know, 30 thousandth. And then that'll allow me to have the sidewall coming up and lock into a groove on the top. And I think that'll be a more positive connection than you just put a little bit of super glue in there and you're good to go. Um, I've also shortened up the supports a little bit and added more infill. So these supports were printed, um, these supports were printed with 10% infill and I'm not I'm not sure, well, you can see it a little bit. They're, they're a tiny bit bowed, and they're, um, boy, this is hard filming with one hand. They're a little bit more flexible than I'd like. Um, there, you can almost hear the, hear the crackling because it's only 10% infill. So that's me, that's me flexing flexing that piece. Let me see if I zoom out a little bit. That might be better. 
Um, but flexing it like that, it's not, uh, I'm not happy with the way these, these turned out. So like I said, I increased the infill to, to 20% and we'll see if that's better. Um, but I just wanted you guys to know I'm not sitting on my duff. We are definitely testing and working with different components, trying to settle on finding a good, solid, easy to assemble kit that you would be happy with receiving in the mail and then a very quick assembly. I'm looking to keep the assembly under, you know, 15 minutes if I can, maybe 20 minutes, but um, keep it nice and simple for you guys so you can put it together easily. And then I do plan on offering the more expensive expert kit or advanced kit that would allow the furling. But with this version, as you can see, those square notches are where these would go and it would be once you hit the little square hole with the super glue they'll be just fixed in an open state so um i think i had released the footage oh i don't know a week ago maybe where i showed the white one and the orange one in A little bit hard to do one-handed. <laughs> Go figure, huh? Uh, I'm not finding the hole. It sounds like a personal problem, right? Anyway, it would sit somewhere right about there, and then the other scoop would be on the other side, and they'd be fully extended at that point. Um, you know, the other one would be... The other one would be like, oh, there. So the other one would be like that. Sorry for my finger, but, um, at any rate, I want to keep this as simple and clean as I can for you guys. So I'm doing the legwork. I'm doing the hard work right now, testing and fitting components, printing and reprinting, recatting documents dozens of times already, um, trying to come up with something I'm happy with, something that'll print easily, that I can test easily. And then, of course, that we can translate into injection mold plastic for mass production, because we're going to sell tens of thousands of these and kick off creating more in Harmony Vertical Axis Wind Turbine in a huge way with all of the funding that I know you guys are going to help support and spread the word and for a hundred dollars for the little basic kit you'll get a functional unit that will um, I'm going to pause this and show you some of the stuff downstairs so you'll get a functional unit that will produce enough power to hopefully power small USB devices like your phone and uh, in return you'll be financing the kickstart or the the initial push for the the real funding push for Harmony vertical axis wind turbine project in the larger residential and recreational sizes so stepper motors that we were testing I think I did do a video with this the other day um, I only have one hand, so I can't make it spin, but I think I did show that the other day, and um, just some testing and things that we were doing there. All right, guys, well, wanted to let you know that's where we stand, and um, still printing away, still doing testing, and we'll continue to do so until I feel we've got a good solid kit, and then, and only then, will we finally do the Kickstarter. I'm not going to kick off the Kickstarter prematurely when I don't have all the pieces together, when I don't have a solid kit. So I told everyone it would be a month to two months, and I meant that. You know, I'm not going to be one of these Kickstarter people that throws together a half-assed Kickstarter and it, you know, it bombs because I was stupid about it. 
I'm testing the components, making sure I'm happy with how it goes together, how it works, and pleased with the end product, so that you, in turn, can be pleased with the end product when you finally receive it in the mail. All right, guys. What a mess, huh? <laughs> All right, peace out from Harmony Vertical Axis Wind Turbine and creating more. Remember our Patreon page, please. It is uh, wonderful to receive support for the ongoing efforts. That one just finished, pretty cool. So um, here, I'll zoom in. When you guys help with that kind of stuff, it's great because the money goes directly into buying filament and buying parts and pieces and um, making the end product that hopefully in turn will make the products that you ultimately buy for your houses. Man, that sidewall is high. <laughs> Six inches. Alright guys, so uh, yeah, please support the Patreon page if you get a chance. Patreon.com slash creating more. And it'll be in the description as well. Take care guys.